Hey, Anissa Koi here with Firehouse Education and this week's Ask Anissa video column. And this week, our question came in from Tiffany in Colorado. And here's what Tiffany had to say. Hey, Anissa, I am really struggling with my boss and his expectations of how long it should take me and my team to complete a job such as pack out, content cleaning, and the structure cleaning. I mean, is it realistic to expect all of this to get done in a 30-day period of time? Doesn't seem like that is possible to me, as we take about two and a half to three months currently as a timeline for all three phases of this type of cleaning job. Do you think with more training and maybe better systems, we could realistically get a job completed in 30 days? That just seems like a really fast turnaround, but I really anxiously await your response. Thank you so much for helping a girl out with your expertise. Feeling stressed in Colorado, Tiffany. Okay, well, Tiffany, I'm very sorry you feel stressed. So first off, take a deep breath. Let it out. That's what I call Wusa. Okay, so um, I do feel that it's not realistic to get a job done in a 30-day period of time, just to kind of cut to the chase. And when we're talking about the job, we're talking about pack out. We're talking about having the content cleaning done. And we're talking about having the structure clean done. I don't believe it's realistic to do that in a 30 day time period. In fact, I think it's pretty unrealistic for it to take 30 days, for it to take two and a half months, or for it to take three months. Did you know that the average time to process a job in my research that I've done is about 90 to 120 days in the US? And I, again, feel like that is very unrealistic. What do I think is realistic? I feel like having the pack out complete, the structure clean complete, and content cleaning complete and done so we know exactly what is salvage and what is non-restorable is more realistic to have that done in 14 days, 7 to 14 days, period. Now, just so you know, uh, Tiffany, my average time to get a content job, pack out, cleaned, inventory logged on salvage, and to have the structure clean done was 7.2 days for an average home. All of that completed. Like the job is billed within 48 hours after that, and I'm on to the next job with my mobile unit. Okay. So to say that it's unrealistic for it to take 30 days to get a job, I do think that is. I, I think it's unrealistic and it's unreasonable, honestly. I know that you're doing contents in a warehouse. You're not doing it in a mobile cleaning unit like I was, but it's still a realistic time frame for you to get a job done within a couple of weeks. Now, the problem and the reason that I think most jobs take a lot longer is primarily because restoration companies will go pack out the contents, stick them in the warehouse and vaults, and then they think, oh, the structure is going to take, you know, three months, four months, six months to get done. I'll just get those contents done by the time the structure is done. And that is really a bad plan. Number one, you're going to lose a lot more content. You're going to have a lot more non-restorable because they're sitting there contaminated. You are passing up on great cash flow and high profit margin cash flow for your business. And you're causing extra stress for your homeowner because the faster we get those contents done and processed, the faster they're going to know what is salvage and non-salvage. And they're going to be able to process and get get on with life, if you will, okay? The other thing is, is that we're dragging this job out for the adjuster, which causes the adjuster stress and doesn't make us look like rock stars. The other reason that I think it takes so long to get jobs done is because the lack of proper training and the lack of the right systems in place. I can't tell you how many times I've been out on job sites and training companies when they're doing a pack out and realize that they really have been doing this with not the right tools. They don't have the right systems in place. And so a pack out's taken them two or three weeks to do when it should take us three or four days. So it's really important to make sure that your team is properly trained and that you have the right systems in place. The other thing is, is you've got to give your fire jobs, your cleaning jobs, a priority. You can't just take three or four people one day, you throw them at the job and then a water loss comes in a couple of days later. So now you pull them all and they're off to job for a couple of days. Now they're back on the job. 
Like you wouldn't do that with a water loss and you shouldn't do that with a fire uh, pack out or content cleaning or structure cleaning job either. These are still critical timelines and time is important and of the essence, especially if we're in the summertime and temperatures are really warm. Okay, so we got to make sure that we're giving our fire cleaning jobs top priority as well and not just sort of putting them on the back burner and using them as fill in. All right. So what I want you to do, Tiffany, is I really want you to sit down and look at what's the size of your team when you commit to a job. Are you actually on the job and you complete it start to finish or are you pulling them off and kind of, you know, pushing them back and forth between water and and other work and then bringing them into the content cleaning when they have time, you know, using it as like fill in time for them. And what are you doing for your team as far as training? What kind of training have you given them? What kind of regular training are they getting and where are they at on their skill and knowledge level? The other thing that I would ask you is what are you giving your team for the proper tools and equipment to get their job done? I was literally recently at a facility where they were cleaning out of five gallon buckets and microfiber cloths. There was no ultrasonic. There was no HEPA vacuum. There was not even a sink for them to rinse things out in. And we just can't give our team improper tools and equipment to get the job done and set them up for failure and expect for them to have success. Okay. Yeah. So the other thing that I want you to really think about and ask yourself is what kind of systems do you have in place? What kind of checks and balances in QC or quality control procedures do you have going on in your company? You know, it's really unfortunate, but I find this more often than not that a lot of companies have very poor training that goes on in their content cleaning facility. And then when they do get the training, they don't follow up and make sure that things are being done correctly and that their team is getting the support and feeling supported by the company. OK, so I really want you to look at all of those aspects and I really want you to think about this. Do I think that it's unreasonable to have a 30 day um, time period to to finish a job in? Absolutely not. I also don't think that it's unreasonable for you to get that job done in seven to 14 days. And I want to challenge you to look at that and say, how can I get this? What is it I need? What training, what procedures, what systems, what equipment do I need for my team to be able to get a job done in that kind of a time frame? Okay. I want you to push yourself and I want you to do the, the unrealistic because that's really where you should be on this topic. Okay. Awesome. And Tiffany, if you want any extra resources or any of you watching the video, if you have similar challenges, as far as your timelines go, please go to the, my website, firehouseeducation.com and check out our training. We have a wonderful online training course there that gives you all of the systems and procedures that you need to put in place to have a very efficient, very realistic timeline and completion for your jobs, as well as we do have hands-on training uh, available there too. All right. So you know the drill. If you would like me to feature you on Ask Anissa's video column, just be sure to send me your questions to anissa at firehouseeducation.com. And be sure you are a super cool kid and you are subscribed to rnrmagonline.com to their e-newsletter as well as their e-subscription magazine. And you will get this and lots of other goodies every Friday in your email inbox. Well, on that note, you take care. And if you send me a question, I just might feature you on next week's Ask Anissa video call.